How's it going guys, it's Manny King here, and welcome to a Domination Game on the map raid, but more importantly, welcome to your Voice My Choice episode 6, and this is going to be the highest kill gameplay so far for your Voice My Choice, I do end up falling short of the 100+, plus, but I'm not going to spoil the scoreline, I, I did get a lot of kills though, um, it also helps that I have had some big streaks on for this game, because he also uh, recommended some streaks along with his class, and right there, I put so many shots into him, I don't know why he didn't uh, get killed by me. But uh, this Vector, it always seems like it's inconsistent, at least for me. I know a lot of people love the Vector. I'm actually not a fan of the Vector. But I was able to make this class work. It was a little bit of a confusing class to me. I mean, it was lacking a first perk. Uh, it had a Vector with a millimeter scanner. I didn't know people actually used it on submachine guns. But I made this class work. For the 20 games that I played with it, I think I did pretty well on every single one of them. I had like three different games that I could have used for this episode because I did pretty well with it the whole way. I thought this class was really good, uh, which it really surprises me. So let me actually tell you guys what the class actually has. So it's a vector with a millimeter scanner and a laser sight. My uh, secondaries are a cap 40 with dual wield. I don't think I ever use it in this gameplay. I know I used it uh, some at some point throughout the 20 games and I wasn't a fan of the dual wield. I think I'd rather have just one of them, but that's just me. Uh, and then first perk, I have no first perk. I don't have flag jacket. I don't have anything, uh, which was what was kind of getting me nervous actually is the fact that I wasn't going to have any first perk. I could have used either lightweight flag jacket. I've used games where I don't use flag jacket, but usually I would have something there, maybe hard line, anything. But yep, no first perk. Uh, second perk, I was going to be using scavenger and fast hand, so not even toughness. That was going to be also something that I was going to be a little bit scared about, is the fact that I'm not going to be using toughness on a gun that I really don't like, and I'm like, okay, let's see if I can make it work. And I, I think I did pretty well that, um, when I was playing those 20 games with this class and this game. Uh, maybe if I had toughness I would have been able to kill him or I don't know it, it's gonna be hard to actually spoil it but I went on like this long kill streak in the beginning and I I don't end up dying for the first time or the only time until the end of the first round so there you go I go on this massive streak and I didn't even finish explaining my class so <laughs> yeah so the second perks I have scavenger press and fast hands third perk dexterity and my lethal equipment is a c4 and he also recommended the kill streaks of lightning strike um, load star and dog so I do get a lot of kills uh, right here I was like uh, oh, am I gonna have to pick up another gun I don't know I only have seven bullets and that's why I was like okay gotta kill these guys and yep I killed them just in time well, that other guy just left the game so uh, I was wondering where he went, but uh, fast hands, I'm really surprised at how quickly you actually bring out your secondary. Since I don't use a lot of these perks too often, uh, it really surprises me when I actually see how fast, I guess, fast hands is. Um, it definitely is a lot faster than I would have expected, but this class, really fun, uh, surprisingly a lot, fun, a, a lot of fun. I wasn't expecting to do great with it. Uh, like I did this game, and right there, I probably should have died. I don't know how I didn't get killed by that, but uh, usually I would speed up the load star, I would cut it out, but by the request of the Gaming King 3, who is the one that recommended this class, uh, he wanted me to leave all the load stars in, so even the ones where I do bad. Uh, if this wasn't raid, and maybe let's say a map like. Um, See what's a good load star map? I would say almost every map is a good load star map, but raid every so often when they spawn where they're near trees, man, I hate those trees so much on this map. They just take all the missiles for everybody. I mean, I still get a good load star right there, boom, and I think I get another one. Yeah, I still keep going, but those trees they do get annoying uh, when you actually have people maybe in the middle hiding or. I don't know, wherever they might be. And right there, that's where I probably messed up. I should have probably saved the dogs. Maybe I could have gotten 100 plus if I saved those dogs because I think the dogs ended up only getting me two, three kills towards the end of the game. I didn't know that there were only 31 seconds left. Uh, I probably should have looked first, but unfortunately, this is what might have prevented me from getting the 100 plus. So I noticed that they're all spawning over here. I'm like, okay, I gotta play this smart. That guy didn't die. Let's kill this guy. And right here, this is when a friend of mine was like 67 and oh, Man, you're beasting and boom, killed me. I was like, you just jinxed it. You seriously just jinxed it. And he was like, oh, my bad. But I was like, ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. So I was 67 and 0. 
Um, I don't die for the rest of the game, so there you go. And I do some get some more streaks, but it was mostly uh, the other team leaving, bringing in more people, because pretty much everyone on my team was doing good. I don't know if the other team just wasn't that good, but even the next game I got another good one, and even the next game after that I got another good one. Like this other team, I guess they were pretty bad, because I kept getting gameplay after gameplay on them. So. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I do need some more class setups, so in the comment section, or if you want to message me any way that you can, get me a class setup. Um, I have next week's, but after next week's, I have no more class setups I need to do. So, yeah, I just thought I should really get, just remind you guys that uh, any way that you want to send me a class, you can, and I'll use it. It could be anything, and uh, yeah. Just thought I would pretty much put that in this video just to remind you guys that anytime you want, you can recommend a class to me and I'll use it. So, yeah. And the game's almost going to come to an end because I think we just triple capped them for the rest of the game. And that doesn't take very long once that happens. And I'm still trying to get as many kills as possible. I wanted to get to the 100 plus, but uh, it's kind of my own fault. I kept telling my team it can come towards A so we can triple cap. And the reason I wanted them to come with me is due to the fact that I don't have flak jacket. I'm thinking that maybe if someone else takes the grenade for me, I'll be able to survive. So I get my canines and my load star towards the end. But we have them triple capped, and due to my kill streaks, uh, they're not going to be able to get another flag. And uh, that's where it's going to be a pretty much a bummer for me that I'm not going to be able to get to the hundred plus. I fall short. Uh, I kept asking them the load star how much time is left, and they kept counting it down. But uh, I was like, "Wait, we're triple capped. It doesn't really matter how much time is left, does it?" They're like, "Nope, we're pretty much already in the finish." I was like, "Ah!" <laughs> but that was a nice load star kill, the four piece. I kind of forgot about it actually already. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good gameplay in my opinion. Die once, get close to a hundred kills, and. Uh, yeah, with a class that I wasn't expecting to do very good with, honestly, but uh, I would definitely recommend trying out this class. See if you like it. Um, it was a pretty good one. I did pretty well with it the whole 20 games, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. And like I said earlier, uh, I would very much appreciate if you guys leave me some more classes in the comments section or any way that you want to. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later, and yeah, peace.